As the sun set over Vigo Valley, we loaded into a motorhome for deployment at layups along Interstate 8. Watch your mouth, sucker! <laughs> Told you, Murder, I don't like drinking milk. I deployed with Rock Dog, the Hoss, and Arizona Sheepdog. We searched along the south of I-8 with considerably more light than I would have expected. All of that light got someone's attention, all right. Upon returning to the highway, we had a nice chat with a Pinal County deputy. With no results other than making the acquaintance of the deputy, we remounted the motorhome to return to camp. And that, that grave was, they were sleeping. Yeah, so he said yeah. they were sleeping. Yeah. 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 How come he, he didn't have his lights on a while? I don't know. That was a sheriff, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's sure. a okay. pretty cool guy. Yeah, good guy. He was down there. Oh, he was hauling ass. He didn't turn his lights on until he got right up close to the house. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, he was stepping on it. He was down there. Oh, Lord. I had to show off a little bit. Yeah. Look, I can drive at night with no light. All right, I got two questions. Did someone have contact tonight? Yep, without a doubt. You don't know where they went, though. Well, no. I can't say without a doubt when I saw it. I can say without a doubt. Well, I definitely ripped ass. So and we saw there. a flashlight. <laughs> okay, okay, the second question is, let's get that damn coyote howl for a radio. I don't know, but that thing is annoying and painful. That thing was a pain in my ass. Arriving at camp, we dismounted the RV and called it a night. The next morning we scouted west of our camp, beginning with Vigo Road. We found something interesting right at the intersection with Interstate 8. This is in the Vigo Valley and this is one of the warning signs. And hanging on it is straps used to carry a bale of a contraband. It was abandoned here along with a manufactured booty. This is a coyote booty. And here is the warning sign with the back strap. Another back strap has been located. And we can see that here is highway maintenance crew and this is interstate 8 right where that truck is going by warning signs smugglers back straps smugglers booties the patrol moved eastward along the interstate toward the camp from Vehicle Road. Soon we came across some black plastic garbage bags along the road. Some of the bags contained styrofoam boxes. All of those bags had been opened. None of the bags that did not contain such a box had been disturbed. Heroin. 
Such boxes, wrapped as they are in duct tape, are used for smuggling heroin. Isn't it interesting that they were among common trash bags? As we approached the rest area, we decided to check the dumpster for contraband, since it might be a handy drop. Although Haas found nothing in the dumpster, he decided to take a look around. Frankly, I was wondering if things were getting a bit extreme, searching around a rest stop. And then a poncho was found. Quite near the interstate, a black ski mask spray painted with green was found. This mask would be effective camouflage, especially at night. The patrol decided to check out the nearby culvert. There was other abandoned trail clothing in the rest area. Meanwhile, back at the vehicle, we had been joined by the Arizona Patrol. Later, back at the camp, we watched a helicopter making its patrol fly off into the sunset. The group ate and relaxed prior to going on evening deployment. We were going to the place where the hard drug smuggling debris was found. Where's the wash that we passed? Yeah, there's one right there. It's hard to see it. I went with Arizona Sheepdog and the Haas USMC.
First, the bags were again checked out. Then a short distance was walked to a culvert going under the road. The patrol went over the fence and down into the culvert. Again, nothing was found.